perfect time of year to, uh, to punch vegetation. Typically, a lot of times this time of year, your lakes are starting to fall. Uh, you start to get a lot of matted vegetation, and that's a great way to catch a lot of fish. And it's one of my favorite ways to fish. It's truly, um, basically, as close to combat as you can find in bass fishing. It's a lot of fun. And I'm going to take this second kind of go through the setup that I like to use for punching. Um, I start with my 8-foot pacemaker um, TFO flipping stick. I've uh, got me a loose tournament light reel on here. It's a, it's a high speed reel. I like that. It lets me make more casts in the course of a day. And if any fish do kind of take off on me, it gives me a chance to check up with them. Um, normally I use 65 pound test high seas braid. Uh, sometimes I will go as heavy as 80 or even 100, depending on just how thick the cover is. Um, and basically just to get this deal started, I'm just going to put me a little eagle claw bobber stopper on my line. Um, <clears throat> get me a, this is a one ounce elite tungsten sinker. Uh, and one of the most important things about punching to me is actually tying a snail knot. Uh, this is a eagle claw heavy cover flipping hook and I'm just going to show you how I tie a snail knot. It's actually really really simple and the snail knot that I tie it doesn't require any glue or anything. All you're going to do is just go through the eye of the hook from the point side, pull yourself about six or eight inches of line through, make you a circle, go through the eye of the hook again from the same direction. So now you've just got a circle and you're just going to go around Right behind the eyelet, go around the shank of the hook and around the circle at the same time. I like to go at least five or six wraps. Uh, typically what I do is I just get as many as I can until I, I get down to the keeper on the hook and I just can't go any further. Once you get your wraps on there, you just take your tag in, stick it through the circle that you created. And then you just pull your main line tight, which pulls the circle up. It actually pulls your line up into your knot. Um, then. You just take and cut you about, you know, a quarter inch tag. I like to leave it about a quarter inch long. That way if it does slip any, I don't have to worry about it coming untied. Um, the J-Bug has became one of my favorite baits for flipping, flipping mats. Um, it's a real small, compact bait. It's got some decent movement on the sink. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just Texas rig it. Just real simple, typical Texas rig here. Get it on there good and straight. And then I like to pull my weight down. I like to pull my bobber stopper down to where it's about a quarter inch. I like to leave a little bit of room here. I think a lot of times that little bit of room uh, lets the weight kind of bump into the bait. And also, I think a lot of times when the fish eats the bait, if you have that little bit of room right there, oftentimes they won't get the sink in their mouth and they'll get just the bait. And if that happens, that's the perfect case scenario. But uh, this is the setup that I like to use uh, for flipping vegetation. It's a great way to catch a lot of bass this year. If you've got vegetation in your lakes and you're not a big flipper, uh, you need to give it a try.